Hello, my name is Mark Fennell, and today I'm going to talk to you about mercury as related to coal power. Most of this information can be found in my book, Coal Power Technologies Explained Simply. What I'm going to talk to you about today is in there, plus much more. Mercury data is scattered all over the place, and I have been the first one to really collect it and to understand all the science. And the first thing I'm going to do today is give you an overview, what I call the amount of mercury in perspective. And this is important because the EPA recently made a ruling on reducing the amount of coal power, or reducing, reducing the amount of mercury emitted from coal power. And I think this ruling was a mistake, and here's why. Coal power does not contain much mercury. The data shows this. And as I point out in my book, I've gotten my data from several different sources, including the Center for Air Toxic Metals, the Energy Environmental Research Center, the Department of Energy's Information Administration, and reports from the EPA themselves. Let's start with this fact. Of all the mercury that's emitted into the environment worldwide, only 1% comes from coal power. 1%. So if we stop producing coal power altogether, there's still 99% of mercury emissions from other places. So why do with coal? Number two, the major producers of coal, of, of mercury, include volcanoes, the ocean, and some plants. Scientists have calculated that these natural processes contribute 30% or more of the mercury to the environment. So we have volcanoes in the ocean, which naturally produce 30% of mercury in the environment. We have coal power, which produces 1%. What are we going to do? Ban all oceans? ban all volcanoes? No. So while coal power does produce some mercury, <clears throat> it's not enough to make a difference. Fact number three, there are various forms of mercury. Some are more toxic than others. The most toxic form of mercury is not found in coal power. The most toxic form of mercury is called methylmercury, and it is man-made. It comes from industrial processes. Most of those industrial processes have been banned since the 1950s. So there isn't much of that. Um, some methylmercury also exists, is produced from anaerobic bacteria in, uh, in various processes, and that does occur. But in coal beds, there is no methylmercury. There are mercuric oxides, mercuric sulfides, but there is no methylmercury. So yes, while mercury in many forms is toxic, the most toxic form is not found in coal. So let's look at this data again here. Mercury emissions worldwide, the majority of them are produced by oceans, volcanoes, and other natural processes. Mercury produced by coal is less than 1% of what we see worldwide. Coal beds, geologically, have very little mercury. It's for one ton of coal, there's less than one ounce of mercury, very little. And the most toxic form of mercury, methylmercury, is never ever found in coal beds, nor is it produced in the coal power process. Now I do believe the coal, that mercury is toxic, and I do spend the rest of the chapter here discussing how to minimize mercury and what all the dangers are of mercury. Always keep it in perspective that mercury as emitted from coal power is not a huge of a threat as some people make it out to be. And that is the end of today's video.